Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the problem of cheating in Magic and why every major tournament it seems like the winner is cheating at Magic. Uh, the most recent one being Yuya Watanabe and now Eren. I think the terminology cheat is where a lot of people get emotional because they feel like it's intent based and of course Eren would never cheat, of course Yuya would never cheat. But I think we need a new policy which does not care about intent. Uh, currently, when you cheat, there's a lot of hoo-ha about intent or did you intend to cheat? Did you not intend to cheat? That's for you getting banned after. So after the tournament, then we can look at intent in a better light. But if you make a mistake that benefits you, you should get a game loss or a match loss depending on that mistake. And it does not matter if you intentionally made a mistake or unintentionally. Whether or not it benefited you, in this case, I would suggest that, yes, drawing multiple cards from multiple light up these stages is a benefit. So we have a problem. It is rampant cheating and Magic the Gathering. Um, it's not... I mean, the MPL, there's not many of them to begin with. The fact that one of them is banned for cheating for many years, Yuya Watanabe, that's got to be compelling. Even though it's one out of 32, there's only 32 of them. And you expect even at that level, with so much to lose, $70,000 a year, sponsorships, reputation, I mean, think about what Yu Yu's reputation is today compared to what it was before he was caught. Yet he still cheated. He was banned. There's no shadow of a doubt that he cheated. Now, at FNM, I don't advise people to cheat or mana weave or do any of that stuff at the lower FNM or pre release. There's no reason, in my opinion, because the payout is so low. My issue is. When everyone gets together and pays a sum of money, it basically it's gambling. Star City Games will never say it's gambling. Wizard of Coast never says it's gambling. But there's an entry fee that you pay that is put into part of the prize pool. And then the winner gets a prize. So the circumstance of FNM where you get your promos and maybe you do that put it to a lesser degree instead of putting in 40, 60, 80 dollars, you put in five dollars. The person cheating has stolen from everyone at that tournament. If you make a honest mistake, or if you made a dishonest mistake, I don't think it should matter at the moment the cheat was committed and caught. Or, okay, not cheat. The moment the mistake was made. So let's say I make a mistake and it benefits me, even though I think it's a mistake, my opponent thinks it's a mistake, everyone knows it's a mistake, I should still be punished. Um, a good example of this would be if you mistakenly pay less money to the IRS, but the IRS thinks you need to pay more money. If if you made an honest mistake, you don't go to jail, right? You don't go to jail. You prove that it was an honest mistake, but you also don't get out of paying taxes that you owe. In fact, they'll hit you with fees and interest. And that's what it should be. If you make a mistake that benefits you, Automatic game loss or match loss. That's what should have been issued. Star City Games did not issue that. They had confirmation that a mistake was made. And now I'm venturing out. So those are facts. Now I'm venturing out to why that may be. Uh, why Star City Games is rife with cheaters. Jared Bocelli and, of course, the Alex Bocchini, who won multiple Star City Games tournaments for $10,000, Power 9, whatever you want to say he is he is and then he came back to win more tournaments and top eight i mean it, it was ridiculous so i think a tournament circuit which is already has a very bad history of cheaters dominating the circuit should be very wary of letting another person win that could or could not be a cheater but they were not and you have to ask yourself why is that the case 
Star City Games has a very bad history, tournament history. I would never play at any of their events. Alex Bracini, this is where he grew wings, right? This is where he learned. He must have learned from somewhere, and it was Star City Games. He went on to dominate Star City Games three different times. He was banned three times. It took him three times. Imagine how many opponents he cheated in that circuit. <laughs> it's insane, right? And now we have the new Alex Bracini. I don't believe that your intention should matter if you do something that benefits you erroneously. So let's say that I wrote you a check and instead of giving you $100, I accidentally write a zero and I give you $1,000. That's my fault because I'm the check writer. But let's say that I wrote you a check for $100 and you accidentally write in an extra zero for some reason and then change it to 1000 at that point, that's your mistake. And if you make a mistake, you have to make it right. The Everyone's saying how great of a person Aaron is. You know, I've never seen a cheater come out and say, hey, I cheated, give me a game loss, give me a match loss. I've never seen that. Why is that? Like, it doesn't... If you're a great person and you know that a mistake was made in your benefit... You know that. Erin knows that. She tweeted about that and all her white knights got in a circle to protect her. When it you want your opponent to feel like, okay, let's let's see see's up a game. Let's give the opponent a game. Let's go to game free and I'll play I'll be on a play on game free, which is great for red deck wins. You know you made a mistake that benefited you. You actually made a mistake twice, by the way. Yet, you didn't take responsibility for it. And that is the problem I have with this whole system. It's okay to make an honest mistake. But you should still receive a punishment for a mistake in your benefit. Let's say the government accidentally sends you a social security check that you weren't supposed to receive. And you cast a check because you don't really know what it means. And it's like, oh, hey, extra money. Once the government finds out that you made a mistake, they are going to ask for that check back. For instance, there is a very famous lawyer in Kentucky that was caught for embezzling money for, from Social Security because people, he would tell his customers or his clients, hey, you do apply for Social Security. Then they would go to a judge and make a lot of stuff up. Those customers, unfor those clients, unfortunately, did not qualify for Social Security. They were cashing in checks. It was an honest mistake on their part. They didn't know their lawyer was making stuff up. They really thought they deserved that money because their lawyer told them, hey, we're good. There was 800 of them who were rejected and now have to pay money back. So let me repeat that again in case a lot of you don't understand this logic. Because then I know a lot of you want to comment, Trump, Trump, oh, on Sleeve Media, Trump. And it's like, come on, C guys, just follow me. Please just follow me on this logic. If I live in Kentucky, and this is a real case, it's on American Greed, really good TV show in case you want to know. Um, and if I'm a lawyer and I say, hey, you don't, you know, I don't know if you apply for Social Security or not, but let's go for it. And then I give you Social Security or Medicaid or benefits or whatever the, the government fee to payout is. And it later turns out that I've been falsifying documents. I've been lying. I have a friend who's a judge who I deposit money in. So he'll approve of these benefits that you may or may not think that you deserve. You probably think that you do deserve the benefits. And then you get a check in the mail and then you cast that check in the mail for five seven years 10 years even and then it turns out that uh oh your lawyer unknown to you you made an honest mistake you're kind of a victim here was falsifying documents to get you money because then i could get the lawyer would get money too do you think the government will ask you for your money back 100% they did to 800 people. 
100% they always will. It's a fraud. Yes, I'm sorry that you got defrauded. I'm sorry that a mistake was made. And you didn't know about the mistake. But there is a price to pay. It sucks. I know. It does. And that's why you have really good volunteer lawyers who try to get your benefits back. But that's another story. It's real life. So why in this magic case could you make a mistake that benefited you, not have any consequences, and in fact you grow more and more famous every day because you made this mistake and it's very, you know, you're a trans individual who has recently won the Star City Championship. That was someone else's championship. You should have took a game loss, which then would have resulted in a match loss because it would have been tied. And I'm assuming the tide would go to the person who didn't cheat or didn't make a mistake. I will go ahead and say what I feel like. A lot of the things that apply in daily life have the logic that our law and society has made has been destroyed by Magic the Gathering. Like these things in any other context do not make any sense. Yes, we should feel bad for the guy who thought that he deserved Social Security and Medicaid and all this stuff, and he was tricked by his lawyer, but did the guy qualify for Social Security in the first place? The answer would be no. And yes, he was casting the checks with the honest belief that they were for him and he deserved them, It's sad. I don't want to take anything away from that, but there are mistakes that benefit someone that are not correct and they have to be paid. If I accidentally shoot someone with a gun, you know, I accidentally shot them, I wasn't intending to shoot them, negligence, that's negligent of me. And I can still go to jail for negligence. So when you talk about law and society and you talk about Magic the Gathering, the issue I have and the reason we have law and society is to treat everyone fairly. If you're blue, you're green, you're trans, you're cis, you're bi, the reason we have laws is to treat them as fairly as we can. Now, not everybody is treated fairly. I agree. The law is not perfect, but we have it because it's as close as we can probably get. In Magic... There is no law. In fact, the law is based on opinions and emotions. Did you feel like they deserved? No, I feel this way. Just watch a lot of these pros and count the amount of times they make an emotional argument instead of a logical or legal one. Not even a legal one, just a logical argument. In summary, if you make a mistake honest or dishonest, that benefits you, you should get a game loss. The intent can be proven later via a ban or not ban, but you cannot, cannot continue to allow this person to play unpunished. Because the worst case scenario with your history of Alex Bracini is Alex Bracini 2.0. And that's what happened here. Anyway, hi guys.